a disappointing night, really. Yeah, of course. Like, as you see, no season, we we want to win games. You, we want to, as you see, no season, we want to win games. And obviously, although we've um, pretty much secured playoffs, um, we want to take our form into um, the playoffs. And of course, we weren't able to start that off today. Uh, the first half, it seemed like uh, Charlton didn't really want to come out and play too much early on, and it was a bit of a nothing half, really. Yeah, I think like. Uh, for them, it's, it's a tough sort of situation. They wanted to win the last two games they have before, and I think maybe Nerves got the better of them in the first half. Uh, we gave them a chance to sort of settle, I think. And um, if not for if not for that, I think we could have caused them a bit more problems. But yeah, they, they settled, and you could see they got more comfortable as the game went on. Yeah, and obviously the substitution with with an EK coming on made a big difference. Yeah, something that we've had to face all season. That like, um, team struggled to play against us. We're a lot on the front foot, and we stopped them playing out. So. A lot of the time they've gone longer and just gone more direct, so it's something um, we had to adjust to and we, we didn't do so well, but yeah. Do you think that's something the team needs to be better at? Because I know when we played Blackpool, for example, they did that a lot, didn't they? Um, just more consistent, really. I think we are really good at it. Like For example, I, I think that like, looking back at uh, Peterborough, Clark Harris didn't have a sniff, sniff in the first half and I thought TJ and um, Lou done brilliant, but it's just a bit about being consistent and making sure that um, he gives them nothing because once they see a bit of belief, uh, who knows? It's strange really because it felt a funny game because you actually had your chances and obviously Harry scored late on but you had your chances. Yeah, um, it's just, just one of them, like you get the goal and thing, things change and we weren't able to do that today. Uh, of course I'm happy for H getting on the score sheet but yeah I feel like that first goal is definitely very important. How much of the playoffs in the players mind, you know when you get in big finals people often say players, are, it, however hard they try, it's a bit in their mind, they want to be sure they're available. Was there anything in, in the players' minds, in your mind? I don't think so. I think um, we're in a situation where there's a lot of positions still up for grabs and people are still trying to do, do all they can. And if you're holding back, you, you can't prove how, how effective you can be for the team. Yeah, I mean, certainly as an outsider looking in, it looks like there's probably three or four places up for grabs in that team if they're everyone's fit. Yeah, I mean, we've got a good, strong team. We've shown that all season. We've rotated it all season as well. And we show some good consistency throughout the season. So. You can see like everyone's coming back to fitness and there's still obviously places up for grabs, yeah. What about yourself? We enjoyed you in an EK for that little bit. It was sort of a difference in size, but you stood up to him. But it's your 50th appearance today. Oh, no. This season. <laughs> oh, well, as I said before, um, that's what I came here for and I'm happy about that. Um, another landmark. Um, but yeah, the battles are going to be there, for, especially in playoffs. People are going to be hungry trying to prove a point. Um, but yeah, it's about stepping up, yeah. You seem a, quite a composed team when I watch you most of the time. Do you think that's something that will help you going into those playoff places in high-pressure games? Uh, yeah, of course. Like We expect uh, frantic starts in, in those sort of fixtures. But uh, once, once you can get a foothold, which I'm sure we can, we're that type of team, um, then we'll start, start showing our quality, yeah.